Hello my gorgeous Libra, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. Hope you're all feeling absolutely wonderful. Um, but more importantly, for everyone watching this, I hope that you end this week on a high note, right? Something to generally smile about. So I really wish the best for all of you. So Libra, it is the 17th of October 2024. It is Thursday here in Australia. Let's get straight into it because I like to jump in head first. I don't like to lose time. Libra, I want to talk about a very specific topic. And it's going to be Libra for those that are strictly in a no contact situation. The one that broke your heart. Now, when I say the one that broke your heart, hopefully you know what I mean. No one can ever, ever break your heart. I mean, the strong heart that you have, honestly, it is so strong that no one can break it. But in that moment, of course, in that moment when we don't talk to each other and we're in a no contact situation, it, we almost feel our heart breaking. I want to see what happened and of course I do want to see, uh, I want to explore your thoughts and feelings, your person's thoughts and feelings and if there's any actions of course uh, I will be exploring that for you as well. So I'll be picking out five cards from the top of the deck. So why five? Because I want to condense everything and just get the only important messages that the collective should be aware of. Now Libra of course if you want to focus on new love or if you're single or if you want to maybe focus on someone that you're talking to right now this is probably not your reading um but do check out your dedicated playlist libra i guarantee you're going to find a reading there you will find a video either from myself or gg and it will resonate it'll jump out out at you so uh definitely take your time there's a lot of free content on our channel for you of course um last weekend last saturday i actually did do your um, bonus weekend mini love tarot reading and i was focusing on new love slash singles so this of course is for no contact um the one that broke your heart even if oh, what do we have here guilty someone's feeling guilty could be a person i feel pain from the damage i have caused Ooh. okay that's very nine of swords gemini energy right there um so like i was saying you know the purpose of this is insight clarity confirmation here Maybe you actually do want to get back with this person. Romantically, even just start talking to them as friends. There's no wrong answer here. Um, and if you do like how I read, if you like the energy that I present here after 27 years of doing tarot, I do encourage you, you don't have to, but I do encourage you to subscribe to this particular channel. That way you are guaranteed to never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every single Thursday. She has already done your reading. It's in your dedicated playlist right now. And of course, this Saturday, she will be doing your bonus weekend tarot reading, which will be time stamped. All right, last one. Thank you. Wow, bottom of the deck. We have soul tie. I always feel connected to you, but this person also feels quite guilty. Something they did, something they said to you. Maybe they didn't chase you. They let you get away. I'm actually hearing it's like Libra's the one that got away. Interesting split the deck unsatisfied i wasn't happy the way things were going i think this is your energy here that's why your person's feeling so guilty it could also be that they actually didn't appreciate what they had with you so i'm seeing four of cups energy like almost cancer energy right there that don't have to be that can be any star sign but it's almost like this person didn't really realize what they had until you were gone and we've got detachment i had to let this go so i could clear my mind that could be you libra as well um you are ruled by your thoughts just like gemini and aquarius so you know it really could be that many of you have mentally detached but your heart is still curious so let's see what happened yeah, mm, that's why they're guilty because mistakes were made i wish i could right my wrongs Ooh, what else reflection being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity so this person is thinking about you. And I, 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 okay, Libra, I think you're thinking about this person as well, but they're thinking about you even more. I don't know why I need to look under this. And um, we've got daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. That's like seven of cups right there. Yeah, you're both thinking about each other, but they're thinking about you like tenfold. Um, responsibilities here as well. Um, I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs, especially if you're a person, you know, if they were committed or married to someone else, and there were children, they've got child support, spousal support, if they're taking care maybe of their parents that might be older. I'm hearing that they may have very large bills. They're probably struggling to also pay a mortgage here as well. Mm, okay. <sighs> Regret. I wish this never happened. Not the relationship, the mistake that they did. They're feeling guilty here. They're feeling regretful 
they're feeling guilty here, they were thinking about you a lot, about all the mistakes, because this person was probably not honest with you. Dishonesty, by lying I ripped us apart. Ooh. What happened? If this person was not ready to be in a relationship, they should have been upfront from the start. But I kind of, they're showing me like you're a beautiful piece of cake. It's like, I want that cake and I need it now. That saying when people say, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it as well. Uh, no, they wanted that. They wanted you. And, you know, I think they're realizing they were quite selfish. Do two more. We are going to take again two cards from the top. So we're kind of shaking things up. You know, we're doing a bit different. The one thank you let's talk about responsibilities oh oh wow the cards literally exploded in my hands and one card just flew across the room um the card that i'm seeing that fell under me is a page of wands and the six of um sorry the six of swords this person wants to move forward with you they're going to be reaching out. Unfortunately, I do have to pause the video. I'm so sorry. I'm going to leave the cards exactly as it is, like this. I'm going to go get it because it's going to go on this one. So bear with me. My apologies, uh, Libra. And I am back. All right. This is the card. Oh, I'm out of breath. It actually flew across. I'm kind of trapped here where I am. Um, there's really, I have to move everything. So if the camera moved a little bit, I, I do apologize. Obviously, it's a very important message. Um, for it just to, it just went flying. Wow. Okay. All right, let's get some more, please. What's under regret, please? Thank you. Dishonesty. Oof. Thank you. Bottom of the, it's the same page. Look at that. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I'm hearing this person, what they want to meet up. They want to meet up over a coffee here. Um, and they do want to make you like a proposition. I know it sounds rude when I say that. It's not that. An offer here, a peace offering. Yeah, this person definitely wants to get back with you. They're, they are afraid with the Five of Wands, Leo energy, that it might erupt into an argument. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Many of you could have been in a very committed relationship with this person, um, probably talking about getting married, probably were married. I'm also wondering if this person was committed also to someone else, though. Uh, well, I did pick up third party, and that is you. Three of Swords is Libra energy. That is heartbreak. Rare circumstances, it can mean infidelity, that this person cheated on you. And let's say, no, it's still an interference, romantic or otherwise. It could have been a friend um, that was interfering. There's toxic friends, a toxic family member. The case of the ex, for example, that was causing a lot of mischief between both of you, or a friend that had feelings. Ooh, okay. And this is why your person is so regretful here. Oh, look at that. This this illustration speaks volumes. The Five of Cups is um, Scorpio energy. That's just emotional regret and guilt that is literally just mourning the death of this relationship, love lost, how it ended, right? Because I don't, you're definitely not on speaking terms and I don't feel like you're on friendly terms at the moment. So let's talk about mistakes. You got my second favorite card in the entire deck ruled by Cancer. It's the Two of Cups, often known as the card of true love, just like the Ace of Cups. There will be a reunion here. Now, Libra, if you want nothing to do with this person, you don't even want to talk to them, you can't even stand being in the same room with them. Again, I'm going to probably reiterate this is not your reading because the reason why I say that, because this is actually mutual. Where you still love this person, they still love you. You're still realistic of everything they have done, all their mistakes. You're not going to be a doormat. I mean, especially Libra, you are not a doormat. Your patience is admirable, but I have seen Libra's, Libra men and women lose their patience. And I'm like, clear the room, <laughs> right? I absolutely love that about you because you're fair and you're honest. It's all about equal give and take. But I can see here, the Two of Cups does show a reunion. And it always says that now is not the time to walk away. When we do get this message, now is not the time. All right, what have they been reflecting? Oh, they've been reflecting with Aries energy, the Fool. This is the first card of the Major Arcana. They want a brand new beginning with you. Regain the purity and the innocence of this connection. Whether they are near or far away, they want to start over with you. And they are aware of all the challenges. That's why we have that big mountain there in the back. In Tarot, the bigger the mountain, the closer it is and the more sharper it is, the bigger the problem, the bigger the challenge. We can always surmount them though, right? But they're still gonna, they're still gonna bite the bullet though. Uh, this is the card that flew out. We have the Six of Wands, Leo Energy. So I love this card. It's the minor arcana of the chariot in terms of success, not speed. 
So I see here that both of you do want to work things out, but it will take time. It's not going to happen overnight, but if we work together as a team, yeah, you'll be laughing. So what else are they regretting? It's the nine, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. So obviously there's regret over you. I feel like this person was very impulsive. They couldn't have been here today, gone tomorrow, very non-committal, you know, as, as quickly as they rode and they, you know, flew into your life, just like that eagle, they, they flew quickly out of your life again. But we do know that knights come with many things, which is the magic four that I've coined, which is messages, changes, offers, and transitions. I said I coined that. No, I didn't. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, that's always been a given with tarot. Um, this can represent a few weeks for the vast majority of you, but this also means communication, and they will be communicating their regret here. What else, please? Ah, and about their lies and dishonesty, we've got the master of communication. That is you, regardless of your gender. The queen of swords is Libra energy. Oh, you come out so strong in this reading. I absolutely love this for you. Dare I say this? I'm going to say it. I just saw it was 1111 when I was just going to say, dare I say this? So 1111, you might be seeing a lot of 11s. They do represent brand new beginnings, right? I feel like you've got a lot to get off your chest as well. There's a lot that they want to tell you, but it's almost like I'm hearing, I'm seeing that cake again. You know, it's like, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind, but it's not like you're, you're not doing it from a place of immaturity. You're doing it from a place of authority. It's like, these are the rules, right? These are my boundaries. And if you cross them and if don't make me regret taking you back in other words. So I, I absolutely love your mindset here. Like I always, I've been saying this since I started this channel, you know, either this person comes back correctly. I've been saying that with different star signs as well. Come back correctly or do not come back at all. Some, yeah, Libra, many of you could actually, even yourself, could be separated and divorced. Um, you're not a bitter person, but it's almost like you keep asking yourself, why am I always being dealt the wrong hand here? And, uh, you know, this is going to happen when you're heavily invested in your career. It's like, I don't have time for love. Um, I've thrown in the towel. This person did what they did. And then, boom, look at this. Ooh. All right, let's talk about that Two of Cups. Why is that Two of Cups there, please? What other message? Let's talk about the Fool, please. Why is the Fool there? Oof, okay. Six of Wands. They want, I, I think you both want to work things out. More importantly, though, I feel that your heart is curious. Your heart is, your heart is very cautiously optimistic. Your person's a lot more invested in this. And it's only because they realize of their guilty conscience because of what they did wrong, though. What is the Knight of Swords bringing? And what is it? What else do you want to say to this person, please? Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. You couldn't have met this person at work, studies, career, hobbies. Hobbies turned into a career. Workshops, seminars, festivals, um, carnivals, anything where a bunch of strangers come together here as well. Regardless, the majority of you probably didn't meet this person at work. But what this means though, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy is the work card. You know this. You are, Libra, you are very intelligent. And I'm not putting your person down. I would never do that. But they're also very intelligent and they know it's going to take a hell of a lot of work here. We're going to have to be a team. You're not. Some of you are not sure how much can you leave the past behind. Double Pisces Energy with the Hanged One, Hanged Man, the Eight of Cups. You know, once you do, I think you'll know because some of you have kind of mentally and you're almost emotionally detached from this person, even though it may pain you and you still love them. If you actually give them five minutes of your time, that is you. Ace of Swords is Libra energy. You are going to get clarity. The road before both of you will be clear. Get ready because the Page of Cups, Pisces energy. We're getting a surprise card. We're getting a surprise message and we're getting an apology. Look at that. The deck's already splitting. Seven of Cups, Scorpio Energy. This is, okay, I'm getting two messages here. Scorpio Energy. Um, the Seven of Cups already tells me that some of you may be keeping on purpose your options open, like as an escape plan, as a plan B, because maybe someone else has also caught your attention or, you know, um, you've caught the attention of someone. And another thing we do need to discuss, I'm picking up, is that your person did have commitment issues. Perhaps there were too many options. It was between you and someone else. That needs to be addressed. That's something that I feel like you want to get off your chest. Yeah, look at that nine of swords. Oof, they're looking at the hands. What have I done? Gemini energy. Absolutely, your person, they are in so much regret over what they have done that they're not even sleeping. Oof. Two of cups, please, is clarified by the page of swords. That is you. That's Libra energy right there. Often known as the true communicator, the ultimate messenger. 
You're going to be very curious. You're witty, right? You're a fast learner. I absolutely love your energy here. But again, this is all about talking about challenging conversations. It is, I feel like it's delayed. This shouldn't have happened probably a long time ago. Probably the same day or the day after when we stopped talking, but there's no better time than now, right? Um, but we're going to be speaking from our heart. I can already see that. Some of you may have met online, like dating apps. I'm, I'm seeing Bumble. It's not the first time I've seen um, that message. Bumble. What's the other one when you swipe? Is that Tinder? I, I could, I'm not on any dating website, so I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm actually seeing Bumble. I don't know why they're showing me a B. I don't know if it has anything to do with that, but it's definitely for someone there. Um, I do see some of you may be keeping tabs on each other as well, but get ready. That is going to be a very open, honest discussion here. And it's going to go, I think it's going to go fantastic. Look at this. The reason why you're the fool, we could say your person's coming back. They're not a fool. You know what I mean? Is because they want to balance everything out. Look at that. They're helping everyone else. Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. We've got the scales there. That's that. I mean, even though this is Taurus energy, the scales represent Libra. They want to heal things. This always tells me someone's intentions, their agenda. They're coming with pure intentions. They want to balance everything out. They want healing. They want forgiveness. The six of wands is clarified by the eight of wands. Now, this is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. It is ruled by Sagittarius. Um, and again, this person could be at a distance for some of you. Um, even looking at the distance here. So for many of you, um, it could be an emotional distance, but it could also be emotional and physical distance. But this is often known as Cupid's arrow, love messages. If it was up to your person, they would like to pick up the pieces and move forward and not look back. So this is a sudden quick flurry of activity. I love the eight of wands because the eight of wands with their messages, they're always, they're pure, they're innocent, they're lovable, they're always positive. What else do they want to talk to you about? I was a fool. And it's weird because I called your person a fool and I would never ever do that, put someone down. But um, this is your person actually admitting, I am an, I'm an impulsive person. I self-sabotage myself. I make things difficult for myself. But they're actually quite desperate in a nice way, right? Um, not desperate like, oh my God, I'm, you know, um, I'm, I've got trauma bond with Libra. I'm attached to Libra. It's not that. It's just they don't want another, they don't want this year or any more months to go by without at least trying to start again with the fool. All right, what is that you want to talk about? Oh, oh my God. This is you, and you want to talk about the possibility of the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. That is amazing. Now, we also saw the Ace of Swords. Did we ever see the Ace of Cups? And I don't think we did. But, I mean, three Aces, they will be presenting you. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and it's right there with you. Your sword's pointing up, but you're looking towards the future. Your sword is pointing towards the future. I think you want a new beginning with this person, but it has to be right. This is a fiery, passionate, exciting butterflies in your stomach, new start. You're going to get, you're going to, it's time to get excited again. I see there's a smile across your face because this person is actually giving you the pentacle, which is commitment slash marriage. Um, and you end up being the power couple with this person. So we kind of know what happened. Yes, your person is regretting of not being honest with you, of lying to you, of even having a third party around of not fighting for you and letting you walk away, they are going to tell you everything. There's nothing that's going to be kept a secret anymore. I mean, they're hoping, can you leave the past behind? But there is like literally so much regret with this person. They're looking at their hands thinking, what have I done? Now I'm on my own because they're feeling quite depressed, anxious, lonely, they're having weird dreams, probably even nightmares here. Just, and they're probably, I feel like this person wakes up a lot of time during the night. They toss and they turn, they toss and they turn. It's because all their mind is working over time because of what they've done here. No matter how recent or how long ago it was, Libra, I'm just going to say it right now. You don't actually have to lift a finger. This person will be messaging you. Yeah, they're afraid that you're going to bite their head off, but I know you better, Libra, than, you know, in terms of, you know, I, I pretty much spent my entire life studying personality traits, characteristics of star signs. And Libra, you are super intelligent and you're very flexible. Um, obviously within reason, but um, you're not going to bite this person's head off. In fact, I think you want this as well. It's just going to take time, but we do have success here. We have success. It's going to take time, but you've got nothing to worry about. I'll see you this Saturday at 12 p.m. for your bonus week in tarot reading. Gigi has already uploaded her reading in your dedicated playlist right now as I speak. And, and honestly, um, we got to the bottom of it, but the, the outcome surprised me, and I absolutely, absolutely love the outcome for you. 
Think about the 2.0 version of this relationship. It's going to be better than ever. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Libra, I'll see you this Saturday. Bye.